raised to some L day, but this is where Red to be fed. The Student Activities Board is hosting this year on campus. As some of you may remember, who, who doesn't love a cookout at the Red Barn right behind us? And they're also throwing a pep rally. We've got the Dazzling Cardettes performing behind us. It's RSO here on campus that performs all over the place and is fantastic. Additionally, we want to tell you some updates about Race of L. So our goal is 1,200 donors. And I am so excited to announce that we are so close to 700 donors at 1 o'clock today. So, we still have some ways to go, but we can't do that without your help. So, raceofl.org is our website. We are asking all of you to give to the university today. Whatever area you choose, raceml.org, and then share it. Hashtag raceml. Share it on your social media. Ask your family. Ask your friends. This is a great way to give back to the university in ways that are meaningful to you. So now we're going to share some footage from this awesome event. homecoming, uh, tailgate, or other events. Go to the other homecoming events today. Tomorrow I know is the concert. On Friday we have the Student Activity Center rededication. That's at 3 o'clock up in the ballroom. So come to those events. The Step Show, if you haven't bought your tickets for the Step Show, I know we have a lot of alumni that come back for the Step Show. That event happens on Friday evening. This weekend's also Family Weekend, so there's a lot of activities, a lot of parents that will be on campus this weekend, so there's a lot of other activities going on, so we're excited. I do want to thank our Student Activities Board. If everybody would cheer. They put a lot of time and effort into coordinating events for our students on campus, making it a more welcoming place, and so we thank them for their time and attention. It's my pleasure to introduce the University Provost uh, we're fortunate that the University Provost is also a long-serving faculty member here and professor of English here at the University of Louisville. She's a former faculty senate chair. She was also the dean of the graduate college, graduate and interdisciplinary studies uh, for 10 years and is now serving as our University Provost. So please join me in welcoming Dr. Beth Bain. Mostly what that introduction did was tell you how old I am. I've been here for 31 years. 
um, and it's my great honor now to be serving as your provost. Um, I was asked to tell you just a little bit about what provosts do, and what I think the provost's job is, is to implement the president's vision for the university. Those are, how many of you have heard Neely talk? Anybody? So if you've heard Neely, you know that what she says is her first, number one priority is making this a great place for students to learn. So I've taken on a lot of student success initiatives for this year um, and working very closely with my senior staff, uh, Michael Martis, the Dean of Students, and also the folks in our brand new wonderful um, Belknap Academic Building to make sure that we're doing the right things to help you guys succeed. So that's our number one goal. We also, so we, we oversee all the academic programming, all the deans report to me. One of your um, uh, organizers of this event said, hey, I think I now report to you. Indirectly, probably three-fourths of the university now report to me, all right, because they report to somebody who reports to somebody who reports to me. So we see, oversee all student success pieces, all the deans report to me, and um, all of the student affairs pieces report up to me through Dean Marks. So we try to do an awful lot. I heard somebody say recently that they thought the provost job was the worst job in the university because of all those reports. I think it's the best job because I get to try to do things to help you. So, um, so homecoming, why is homecoming special? I've been here for 31 years now. I love homecoming because I get to see so many of the students I've had in all those years. It's wonderful to see people come back to campus. I'm a little alarmed, the last two years, I've had parents of students come up to me and say, you know, I had you in 301 so many years ago, and I, that makes me feel really old, all right, when the parents are my students and then the students are here. So that's one of the reasons I like homecoming, is I get to see sort of a legacy of um, success at the university. So I would say just happy homecoming to all of you. Make sure you take advantage of the opportunities that are here for you this week. And I want to finally end like Neely would end by saying, go Cards. All right, thank you, Dr. Payne. Everybody, please give her one more huge round of applause. All right, we're almost done for you guys. Real quick, we're gonna have a representative from the Villains come up. Please welcome Sam. Hi everybody, my name is Sam Pombas. I'm the Director of Marketing for the Villains. How are you doing today? Are you ready at all for the game this weekend? There's more than football, there's volleyball, there's soccer, there's a basketball scrimmage, there's football. There's something for everybody this weekend outside of football. So let's give some representation to our athletes. All right, so I, we are the villains. We are the official student section at the UofL. So I am here with Emily Rich. So if you have any game, come Emily find one is of us. And come working this little station over here today, and we're ready to be fed. Emily, what is going on? So we have homecoming candidates that we are pie, and we are highly encouraging people to donate money in order to do that. It's not required, but like someone gave 11 cents, so if they can do that, you can pie the homecoming candidates. So we go to the and give it and raise some L. So it's a great way to yes. so our, right, our students are out here raising money, pieing homecoming so candidates, excited. and they will announce the king and queen this Saturday at the homecoming the game. Pod. Thanks, Emily. Yeah. Here's the Cardinal marching band. Drum line.
drum line from U of L's Cardinal Marching Band. We're out here again at Wear Red to be fed. How do you feel about this, Iman? I think it was such a great turnout. I think everyone's super excited for homecoming, and we are especially excited about our day of giving. Yes, raise some out. Yes, raise some out. Going great. We have. Uh, I haven't checked the latest, but we're well on our goal, on our way to our goal of 1,200 donors. The festivities end tonight at 11:59 p.m. So if you have not locked in your support already, please visit raisesomel.org and share the message. Share the word. What's the hashtag?